Hello everybody, we are back to integration of vector field. Today the question is, when you have a, a group current here, uh, assuming current going this direction, then what kind of magnetic uh, field strengths at x point x from the center of the, the loop, and this loop size is A. Okay, so uh, we use a bio spot equation, and what it is is ds is here. That's a ds vector, right? And r, this is r vector. Uh, the external product. This is uh, S going this way and R going this way. So magnetic field vector uh, caused by this DS is this direction, right? So you take this whole things. This uh, say this is the angle here. So since this is 90 degree, this is a 90 degree, this, this angle will be uh, 90 minus psi, right? Okay, so this vector component we divide into vertical to this axis and parallel to this axis. So parallel to this axis is cos 90 degree minus psi. This is the other way. Uh, sine, right? Now, we're going to take an integral along this loop. So this 90 degree to the axis x is going to rotate once. And if you take an integral along this loop, they all cancel out. So this become zero. So we care about only this part. Okay. And Cos 90 degree, this is same as cos 90 degree, right? And that's going to be R uh, well, actually Okay, let me write this convert this into sine first and this one when when angle is 90 degree it's uh, it's zero so the that's sine actually right is it oh here I I made a mistake it's cos phi yeah so the this sign, this angle, is like uh, uh, x over r, right? And r square is a square plus x square, right? So magnetic field i 4 pi a square plus x square and this part is going to be is that the uh, ds and the ds vector integration we change to scalar because now it's we take only one component and this integral is going to be 
to pi a conveniently and the remaining integral uh, is going to be um, let's see x and r a square plus x square right is all right uh, oh when you multiply it's going to be r ds then the uh, sine theta right that's the total vector length r so this vector length is this one and we take only this portion so actually sine square a little bit more complicated here let me I didn't do this before the uh, uh, recording so it's kind of uh, we write the whole things this will be R D S sine theta and the uh, component is going to be this component and r square okay so this sine square sine is going to be x square r square right so this portion is simplified to be r cube and x square and ds and x and r are independent from ds so if we take the integral b is going to be i 4 pi and 2 pi a x square and you know r is um, a square plus x square okay so we can calculate this the b at this point okay Uh, this uh, this B is question here is when you have small magnet okay uh, south and north it's called the same effect as having a current loop right and how you calculate the mag magnetic strength at the x point here okay this is going to be you have to assume dipolar length l then the b is going to be m1 uh, let's see some constant x square and minus m1 k this plus xl x plus l here square right 
because this is uh, like a Coulomb's equation for each magnet. Okay, from this equation, we can relate to the magnetic charge. There's no such a thing as a magnetic charge because magnetic charge doesn't exist. Every charge magnet is made of dipolar, so there's no such a thing, but we can uh, artificially create definition of magnetic charge uh, using same equation as Coulomb's uh, force, right? And this is a dipolar force, and that's equal to this equation. And when you do this, then you can relate the magnetic charge with current I, right? And mu zero or mu mu s. Um, so this way, the artificially we can create magnetic charge, and the physically it doesn't exist. But once we have a magnetic charge defined, then using this dipolar equation to calculate the magnetic field everywhere with permanent magnet placed in the space. Okay? So, that's that's a story for today. It's uh, the magnetic field is defined basically by current I by Maxwell's equation and this magnetic field uh, can be correspondent with uh, a permanent magnet dipole and we can define magnetic field the magnetic charge and magnetic charge can be used just like uh, Coulomb's uh, uh, equations. So if you have a two magnet facing, how you calculate the uh, force between N, S is the attractive force. Well, there is a small distance here makes a difference in the in the uh, uh, direction of magnet magnetic field so they can be uh, we can define this magnetic field here by this dipolar and multiply by this it's like using Coulomb's equation we can calculate the force okay so if you wonder what the magnetic charge is, that's what it is. It's a artificial charge uh, defined by the current loop. Okay, that's all for today. And if you like this uh, um, video, please subscribe and wait for the next one.